Okay. When a patient has Hashimoto's disease, is it important in conventional thinking to do anything about the autoimmunity or is it still the standard of care to just go after the thyroid replacement? And um, let me ask another question and you can decide the order in which you want to answer them. What are the typical thyroid and thyroid related biomarkers when a patient presents with Hashimoto's? In other words, are they likely to also have an elevated TSH or do they often just present with the TPO and normal thyroid labs? Mm. So, okay, the first one, what can we don't normally focus on how to treat the autoimmunity. However, uh, there are several studies showing that patients taking selenium, vitamin D, or other antioxidants can reduce the levels of TPO, can actually prolong the honeymoon, the honeymoon period, which is uh, the 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 the. Re the amount of time that the thyroid will pr keep producing thyroid hormone, even though it's being destroyed. And why do we think that happens? Because, you know, the, to put the iodine into the hormone, uh, the thyroid catalyzes a very strong reaction, which is a peroxidation. So the iodine has to be oxidized in order to bind to the hormone. And that's so powerful that the, cell, the thyroid does it outside of the cell. It doesn't do inside the thyroid. It does in the lumen of the follicle because I believe it could destroy, could damage the thyroid. So